I'm gonna show you how to replace 240 Monday cold calls to realtors with this one strategy. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna jump in the screen. I'm gonna use my little sketch pad so I can kind of put some notes and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. But what we figured out on the math was we have a dialer team in Mexico and we have them calling realtors to book appointments with a pretty cool script that I think works decently well. But what we're finding is that it's taking us 30 calls to book one appointment. So I don't know, you know, if you're doing Monday cold calls, what it takes for you. But for us, it's taking us about one hour making 30 phone calls to get one appointment booked with a realtor. So I'm going to show you how you can replace all those 240 phone calls with this one strategy. So let me jump on the screen and we'll get to it. Here's how you're going to replace 240 cold calls with this one strategy. So I'm going to use a little sketch pad and kind of show you exactly how this is going to work. So number one is we want to leverage the triangle of trust. Right now, the triangle of trust is how people, you know, we all know people and we can use people that have networks of realtors to help you get in front of who you're looking for, right? So in the case of the triangle of trust, like who is this? Who could you, um, who could you partner with that already knows the realtors that you want to know and they could help you get in front of them? Okay, so an example would be like a title rep, right? Or an insurance insurance agent. Let me see, let me make this a little bit bigger. An insurance agent, uh, a home inspector, right? Home inspectors know tons of realtors. What about like a photographer, a real estate photographer, somebody that goes out and does photos or a drone operator that's doing the photos, the, the drone photos for realtors? Um, you know, CPA, right, or a financial planner. I mean, these are all people that already know a ton of realtors. And probably the realtors that they know, you know, that they're working with, they have respect and trust. And so we can use the fact that they already know them and we can have that person, let's say, for example, with a title rep, okay? A lot of title reps or a lot of title companies already have a training space in their office, they already know realtors and they are always looking for a reason to get realtors to come in their office, right? So you can help create those reasons. So that's number one is we want to, we can leverage the triangle of trust using other people's networks to help introduce us to realtors that we need to know. Okay. Now the next thing is going to be, we want to host something cool. We want to host, we want to host something cool. Okay, so let me just make that a little bit bigger. Now, when you think about when you think about hosting, a lot of times lenders automatically go to hosting mortgage events. And that makes sense, right? You are an expert on mortgages. It's the reason you, I mean, you do this for a living. You know more about mortgages than anybody else. But you also need to know more about mortgages than anybody else, right? So Maybe what you have to think about is what would benefit the realtor the most, not what are you already a level 10 expert on? You know, there's probably some things that you've done or you've tried or you've experienced in your work and in your marketing and in, in your business building that would benefit other people that is not mortgage related. Right? Because what I find is hosting a mortgage event is not something cool right? It's business boring. And it's actually teaching them stuff that they don't even need to know about. Realtors do not need to know anything about a mortgage. That's your job. And that's what you should tell them. Hey man, I don't want to confuse you with all this mortgage mumbo jumbo. Just call me and I'll help you out anytime you need it. Right? So what could something cool be? It could be a marketing, it could be a marketing workshop. Right? What if you did something that would actually benefit realtors, help them get better on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, with their database marketing, with literally anything, right? Anything that's going to help them improve and go get business. That's what realtors, they don't want to come to a marketing workshop or a workshop and learn about 10 mortgage programs. That Just tell them to call you. Don't, don't try to in, embed mortgage information into realtors' brains, man. You're just confusing the process. So, Host a marketing workshop that's going to do something to bring them business. 
Uh, maybe you do something around uh, like a YouTube video workshop, you know, um, any, any of these type of things. Um, what if you help them with like retargeting or becoming a local celebrity or um, getting more deals from their database, right? Everybody wants, everybody wants, oops, wow. I don't know if I just had that in my beard or what, weird. Everybody wants more database deals, right? We all know that that's, you know, the easiest clients are the people that already know, like, and trust you. So, you know, what if you help realtors become a local celebrity, right? I mean, all this kind of stuff is what they're looking for. This is the stuff that's all going to be something cool. What if you had a, what if you hosted a panel of top realtors that was like a live, you know, like a live Q&A session where realtors could come, they could meet face-to-face -face with some of the top agents in your market, and they could ask realtors questions and, and get, you know, do like live face-to-face Q&A where you still get the value and the benefit, but you're, you know, you're able to leverage other people again, that triangle of trust, right? That we want to make sure that we're, that we want to make sure that we're leveraging. So you can host something cool. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Oh, no, it didn't work. Okay. So you can host something cool. This is what's going to replace cold calls because if you host something cool, people want to come to it. And if you're leveraging the triangle of trust, those people are going to get people to show up for it, right? So you're not relying on yourself. Okay, so the last thing, we'll just come over here. The last thing is you need a follow-up plan, right? I mean, I don't know. This, this is probably super obvious, but I noticed that a lot of people, they do a live event or something like that, and then they like have no plan behind it of, how they're going to actually turn a live event that other people promoted for them into actual relationships. Okay. Now, what we found is it takes four hours with a new realtor that you've never done a deal with before. It takes four hours with them, one on, you know, of time spent total between group events, one on one meetings to get the first deal. So everything should be focused around that. How do you get your four hours? Now, if a realtor already came to your cool thing, that's probably was an hour, hour and a half. So now all we need is like two and a half more hours. So how are you going to get that two and a half more hours of time with an agent of actually providing value to them that they want to send you a deal? Okay. Because human psychology is that nobody wants to be in a lopsided relationship. So if you give and give and give and give so much that you can create a lopsided relationship where subconsciously the agent has to look for deals for you. Okay. So that's where the four hour plan comes into play is you need to get your four hours of time. At least that's what I found. Of course, there's always going to be outliers, right? You may work with an agent that comes to a class and immediately sends you a deal, or you might work with, you know, you might spend eight hours with a realtor and they don't send you a deal yet. Okay. So obviously at some point you go, Hey, this, isn't feeling like a reciprocal relationship here. How do we get back, you know, more in line with having like a balanced relationship or you stop spending one-on-one -on -one time with people if they don't, if they eventually aren't giving you deals. Okay. But you got to have a follow-up plan. Now, what I like to do for a follow-up plan is first take people on a zoom meeting, 15 minutes. The reason is you can control the timing way better than if you meet somebody for coffee. You and I both know, Meeting somebody for coffee is never 15 minutes. It's always going to be at least a half an hour, if not an hour to two hours. And so that first meeting where we're really deciding if we like him or not, do that all through Zoom. Again, you can control the timing a little bit better. And you can make sure it actually is only 15 minutes. Okay. Then we're going to move into in-person. So we're going to have an in-person session number one. That's going to be like around an hour, hour and a half. And then we're going to have an in-person uh, in-person session two, right? And again, that's your hour, hour and a half. So for me, this is my entire plan, right? Is get other people to promote my, my events, show up, host something cool for realtors where they get actual value in the room, immediate value. So they want to work with us so that when I call them later and I want to meet with them for a 15 minute Zoom, it's an immediate yes, right? Now, if you have 20 people, let's just say you only got, three people or four people out of this list of people on the triangle of trust to promote the event for you. And between your promotion, their promotion, you got 20 realtors to show up. That's very reasonable. 
Okay, that's going to get you at least eight appointments, right? And so, you know, that's going to get you at least eight of these 15 minute Zoom appointments. And then from that, you're going to probably take in, you know, and go and meet with four or five people in person. And so if you look at eight in-person meetings or, you know, eight, even eight Zoom meetings, at least for us right now, when we're having our dialers test booking cold realtor appointments, it's taking us an average of 30 phone calls, one hour of time to book one appointment with a realtor. OK, this is how you can do that and, and you know, eliminate eight hours worth of cold calls by hosting a one hour by hosting a one hour event. So that's pretty cool, right, that you can, you know, just doing that one event, you can re really replace a ton of phone calls, a lot of hours of phone call making by hosting a one hour event. If you want help with that, click the link that's around in the bottom somewhere, legionofloanofficers.com slash intro. We can have a quick chat, meet for 15 minutes, see if we love or hate each other. Um, if we, you know, if we get along, maybe there's a chance that the Legion of Loan Officers is like the community and training program that you've been looking for. And I'll show you how to use these events, replace all those Monday cold calls, create better, faster relationships, ultimately get to the loans and the closings a little bit quicker than if you're using the old school Monday cold call strategy. So make sure you click the like and subscribe button and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one later.